We're going to start off with a quick three because it is slope style. I am Dan Wolf. Today we are going to be checking out some of the best slope style bikes here at Rotorua. Let's get into it. First up today, we got Max Friedrichsen and we are looking at his Cannondale Dave. Max, can you go through your bike? Yeah, it's a pretty simple slope style hardtail bike. As you said, a Cannondale Dave. It's an aluminium frame. Suspension wise, I run a Marsochi Bomber DJ. Is it like max pressure, pressure max and tokens? Pressure, tokens, yeah, okay. everything. Super stiff. <laughs> Super stiff. So basically like yeah. no movement and it's kind of just uh, nearly an insurance policy if you land deep. Yeah, exactly. I wanted to just really move when I actually need it yeah. rather than off takeoffs. This stem is really interesting. You just touched on with me um, while we were setting up. It's a 31.8 mil bar, which allows the stem to be a lot shorter. And what's the length on the stem? 31 millimeters actually. So that must be the shortest on the market. I'm not sure, but it's definitely <laughs> one of the shortest. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's great for bar spins and uh, spinning. Which we know you do. I see that you've got Novatec wheels front and rear here on Conti tires, and some people have been riding carbon rims, but you're on alloy. Yeah, I've just found these really, really trustable, and like, uh, they're not the lightest ones on the market, to okay. be fair. Yep. Neither are my tires, actually, but they actually just hold up so well. I've never had any issues or anything, and yeah. rotational weight for me is quite important. So once you're moving, you carry speed? Yes, okay. so I try to like go down on weight uh, everywhere I can, but yes. not on rotational, because I kind of like it to be able to like swing the bike around because if it's too light I just feel like I'm hovering yeah waiting okay. for it kind of. I mean I can't do any of this stuff but I can actually understand that so I can see you actually have longer cranks than most yeah. slope riders and you've also jammed something in here behind your chain ring can you explain that yes um, so when you're doing tail ups and stuff and you're kicking the bike around sometimes you actually accidentally push the cranks yes and that's gonna be a bad day if you spin the cranks when, when <laughs> yeah. it's on the other side of your bike yeah yeah <laughs> But uh, <laughs> very bad day. Yeah, basically just put a tire in there and cut it a hole in it, so it goes through the axle and then I jam it together. Okay. Because that's just gonna prevent the cranks from spinning. It's not too much tension. It's not like spinning at all. Yeah. So like it's it's uh, yeah. How actually, long does that last for? We year, like in a year's worth of riding, say. Uh, well, when I build a bike up, I never change it. Okay. Until so I you get a new bike. Put it on and that yeah. bit of tire just stays yeah. there. Awesome. What sets you apart, Max? What makes you Max? What makes me max? I do these weird things with tape on my handlebar. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's tape here, here and there. Oh. Uh, that's actually for when I do on turndowns and the oh. rubber will grab the, the shirt, but tape won't. That's unreal. And then is this to say if you throw and catch a bar? Exactly. Okay. They'll roll up. If I and then is this something to do with maybe flips? Uh, that's just for when I do triple whips and stuff and do really heavy tail whip maneuvers. Oh, wow. And I pinch it so hard, so I just crack my finger open so wow. it's, uh, it's just a bit of a I love that it's yeah. touches like that that are just so unique to slope riders that are just mind-blowing okay well look that's been an amazing bike check and uh, good luck with the rest of practice it's been amazing talking to you thanks a lot okay so next up we're here with Robin Gooms we are going to take a look at this custom carbon DJ first of all I gotta ask will this ever see production do you know <laughs> that's a good question we don't actually know so okay. there was chat of maybe a limited run maybe no production who knows we'll i like see. it mystery yeah we got to talk about the paint job i guess and this number back here what, what's that in reference to uh so it's like an army theme paint job i was in the army so the 379 was like my uh recruit course intake number it's like a Whoa. assigned to when you march in sort of thing that's okay. the number you march in with yeah then like the red and blue stripes are like the engineer core colors Okay, so you're in the engineering core of the New Zealand Army. Sick, yeah, I did not know that. Back. And then the little Kiwi here is just like, um, that's just like the Defence Force Kiwi as well. So. Okay, and I see you got Magaza here on your fork as well. Yeah. So right. it's like, when you're finished this event, do you think it'll be uh, hung up on the wall or will you ride it for the rest of the year? Because this is a really amazing, it's a piece of art really. Yeah, it's going <laughs> on the wall for sure, but I'll probably keep riding it. It's, yeah. Take I mean, it through the rest of the season, hopefully, and then... Then hang it up. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Uh, so these are kind of one-off or prototype NV AM30 rims, uh, but 26. Okay. So normally they do it 27.5 or 29, but yeah. they've done a limited run for a few riders. And then your cockpit, what with the Dighty bars are these in rise? The four, CZ40s, are like cam zinc bars. Nice. So 40 rise. Um, I've chopped them down to 720. No, okay. So about yep. 725 with the grips. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, fork pressure got to jump in there are you just like 
all in, max out. Maxed out, oh, okay. it is maxed. That seems to be the reoccurring theme uh, this week. Crank length? Crank length is 165. And do you have anything to slow that rotation down? I do, I've cut a piece of tire and I've <laughs> inserted it between the BB okay. and the chain ring and it just kind of like puts a bit of friction in there. Yeah, yeah, because I turned it around earlier and I was like, there's obviously something here as well. This is an unbelievably nice bike. Super light and rigid. That's been Robin Gooms, Yeti DJ. Fully, fully tricked out custom bike. Next up, we've got David Godziek's Specialized P3 in this stunning pink and blue color. Let's get into it. Um, I guess, first of all, is this a custom frame for you or is it a stock frame? Uh, no, this is a stock frame, stock color. I just added some design and some more stickers on it, but yeah, I, I like it how it is uh, stock and I really enjoy it. Okay, and then the rear here, we were just talking beforehand, you have a smaller disc to kind of drop weight and then is it also just so that you don't skid when you're scrubbing off speed? The main reason was uh, I just like it better how it looks uh, <laughs> yeah. like this. So we just cut off a bit the, the adapter, the brake adapter here okay. uh, to put the smaller disc and yeah, okay. it looks cleaner for me. Yeah, it looks really clean. I guess we, we need to talk about these wheels. They're kind of stealing the show here. They're uh, i9 hubs, spokes and rims. Oh yeah. And I see you got Tubalito tubes on Conti tires. Oh yeah. So the, super light setup. It's the lightest setup you can you can get. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for sure. So you really go for a, the lightest bike? I'm trying to and also I'm a fan of those tires because uh, yeah. they have like they're super yeah, there's, slick. Yeah. So you, you get really good rolling so much speed uh, <laughs> yeah so it helps definitely and what pressure are you riding front and rear so i got four five point five uh, bar in rear i don't know is, what uh, that is in psi 70, oh. 75 psi okay that's the highest so far in rear yeah and uh, 70 or 65 psi in front okay yeah, yeah super high pressure so that's probably like the limit of what the tires are allowed probably yeah is there anything stand about about your bike or your setup that is a must for you yeah i think the weight of it it's, okay it's pretty important weight for weenie me. yeah and do you think that's anything to do with your bmx background or is that just your style as a rider i just believe it helps uh for the spins for the rotations and okay. yeah, i'm trying to to make everything as possible as easy as possible to give uh, the best performance okay and yeah well we don't have a scales here but i did pick this bike up and it's the lightest bike i've picked up this week so i think you've succeeded yeah <laughs> thank you um well that's dave godziak specialized p3 i hope you enjoyed it and um it's very bling we are here next with one of the most exciting riders out there this is patricia Druven, and can you tell us what frame you're on I ride a Rose the Bruce frame in size medium. It's perfect for me because I'm a little bit small and it's a perfect frame for me. Can we talk next about your wheel setup? I ride Industry 9 wheels in full silver. Yeah, it's nice. And Maxxis tires with five bar. So five bar and tubes, so super hard, fast rolling tread. Yep. You're always carrying speed. Yeah. I want to talk about your, your title components. You've got a title yeah. front to end. I got a title handlebar, title steam, yep. title saddle, title Seat gyro bus. system, yeah. brake system, everything okay. from title to do endless bar spins. <laughs> yeah, I've seen them. You can, how, how many can you now do in a row? Is it three or four? Two. I've seen you do three on one. Yeah, jump. but on a flip, flip triple bar. <laughs> one, two, three! You're on carbon cranks, I see. Yeah, SRAM carbon XO cranks, 165 millimeters, okay. and pedals too from Tidal. All Tidal, yeah. Uh, I've noticed, yeah, most of the riders seem to be all 165 crank length. It seems yeah. to be the most it's common the best. thing. Yeah, it's the best. So for me, it's the best. Most natural. Yeah. Okay. Not so long, not so small. Well, um, good luck on Sunday. Thank you. And um, thanks for doing the spike check. Yeah, sure. We are here with Emil, and we are gonna take a look at his Trek ticket. I can see straight away though, this is not your standard bike. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, so this is a Trek Ticket DJ, uh, a bit different than the stock one on the market. This is a prototype frame that I'm currently trying out. Okay. Uh, I've been on a prototype slope bike for the last couple of years. Okay. And I've really liked that geometry, so 
We moved forward and made a hardtail that's pretty similar to it. Okay, and, so mirrors. Uh, yeah, for like Rot Rotorua here, I've in the past I felt like the slope bike had been a bit much for this specific course because okay. this course used to be felt like a bit more high speed and like I felt like it was really nice back then to have the rear suspension. But okay. now with how the course looks, I'm just on keen to try it out. Like I haven't competed on a hardtail since 2016. Yeah. So. That's a long, long yeah, time. Yeah, it's like eight years. Wow. So I'm like taking a risk here. Like I'm willing to try something different uh, to keep it fun and interesting. And uh, so this is a Industry 9 EN305 wheel set, Hydra hub, faded spokes. This is actually the exact nice. wheel set as I had for Whistler. Carbon rims. These are carbon rims, yes. Yeah. Great for carrying speed, but probably like a little less forgiving if you land crooked. For me, like the carbon has been really good. It doesn't make the bike any lighter. Okay. But uh, with the force, you hit the jumps with it. It's yeah. nice to have something that's a bit more rigid than. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because alloy can feel a little bit dull off lips, whereas this is more like uh, sure. Yeah. It's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's definitely, it's a different feel for sure. And uh, do you have anything to slow the rotation of your car? Yeah, so okay. Trek helps me out to get a crank stopper inside a frame that I can adjust and wow. is it, it, a it does the job. Is it a grub screw from the bottom of the yes, BB shell? Yes, it's a screw and some stuff inside that makes it happen, which is awesome. Just a standard BMX cable set, but six pack made this custom gyro plate for me. So I just flip the gyro upside down. Trek provides me with the gyro tabs. Back in the day before I was sponsored, I used to drill my own frame and stuff, but really? it's definitely nice to have them take care of that because yeah. I'm not. Yeah, it's much cleaner. Yeah, the Pike DJ, of course, as well up front. That's been like the go-to fork now. I think it's yeah. probably the last 11 years, it's been on top of the game, so. Yeah, okay, but well, it's a real eye catcher. Yeah. Paint job's <laughs> incredible. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> turn out well. Good luck this like, Sunday, man. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for your time. That has been our bike checks today. Five amazing slope bikes. I hope you've enjoyed, I certainly have. And I think we can get rid of the bike check stick now.